In this problem, what I'd like to do is to walk you through the written steps to perform logarithmic modeling on your calculator and make sure that you understand those. So you've got a problem here. Determine if a data set can be modeled by a logarithmic function. If so, find that function rounding all decimals to four places. So here's our data set here, the X row and the Y row. So let's enter that into our calculator by going into our stat and then edit and your data should look exactly like what you see here. Should match the rows. So here's the X row is in L1 and the Y row is in L2. So if you need to pause the video to enter those values, please do so. Remember that to clear a column, you need to highlight to the top and hit clear, not delete. So when you're done, come back to this page, uh, this part of the video, and go on to the next step. We're asked to determine if the data can be modeled by logarithmic function, so let's see what our data look like. We're going to go to y equals, and we're going to turn on our plot. Our plot is not turned on right now, otherwise that would be highlighted, plot 1. I'm going to scroll up, and I'm going to hit enter. And if I scroll back down, notice that plot 1 is highlighted. Then I'm going to go to zoom, and zoom 9 is zoom stat. So let's go down to zoom 9 and see what that looks like. Zoom stat, my calculator got a little away from me there. So let's go back up to zoom 9 and hit enter. And what that will do is to graph your uh, data, your table data on an appropriate window and you can see that the data are increasing but slower and slower and so this has generally the shape of a logarithmic function so we're gonna say that just visually we can model these data with a logarithmic function to do that let's go to stat calc number nine is logarithmic regression and it's actually using what's called the natural log, which is a special kind of logarithm. It's a logarithm base E. And we're going to enter, so on your screen you would have ln reg. You can ignore this part. If you have other stuff on your screen, just ignore it. Hit enter again, and it will give you the information to fill in for the coefficients A and B in your logarithmic equation. So you're going to fill in negative 2.2274 for A and 7.2698 for B. Write your equation as you see in the row here under step 4. To see what that looks like graphically and how closely it matches up with the data, let's go ahead and enter that equation into Y1. So negative 2.2274 plus 7.2698. And then the natural log function is here. We need our x and then in the parenthesis. Now let's hit graph. And we're going to see that the function that was created by our calculator using log logarithmic regression is a pretty good model for our data set.